Children of the Corn 4, which on screen is simply called Children of the Corn The Gathering, pretty much has nothing to do with the first three films. Shocker. In fact, He Who Walks Behind the Rose, the thing that all the demon babies have been blathering about since part one, is never even mentioned. Nope, instead there's some other ill-defined, sinister thing murdering fools in the Midwest. Amusingly, this movie might have been written as the origin story of the Behind the Rose thing, but the scene that mentions all that was deleted, therefore Children of the Corn 4 has nothing to do with anything. Naomi Watts stars in what's essentially a flyover state Nightmare on Elm Street ripoff, where characters have nightmares within nightmares within nightmares, and all the kids in town are getting sick. When they get better, they claim to be long dead kids, who serve a child preacher named Josiah, who was burned alive years earlier. He's back! Exacting revenge, blah, blah, blah. Why isn't this series in space yet? Four's the one that's supposed to go to space. Let's do this, let's go to space. I want space corn kids fighting asteroids and cosmonauts. Give me that movie, cause this movie sucks. Although this one kid is mildly adorable. Well, you've got a little fever, but I think you'll live. Good, I wanna live. Well, we are now in the land of the screams and the know what you did last summers and the faculties because Children of the Corn 5 Fields of Terror is aping every late 90s hip horror thing. You can tell it's doing that because it stars a group of snarky assholes who quip their way through Divinity Falls, a middle American town where a group of kids are worshipping he who walks behind the rose. Didn't see that coming, did you? Alexis Arquette's Chinbeard is the leader of this clan of Friends cast-offs, I'm guessing, but isn't a very compelling lead. What's that? Mmm! Smeet! Doesn't matter though, since nothing in the film is really that compelling, and that's despite actually having a decent supporting cast this time around. Eva Mendez is one of the kids, and I always like seeing Eva Mendez, but boy, her character arc is annoying as she somehow becomes smitten with the idea of worshipping Corn Zeus. Also, Ahmet Zappa is the first main death, kind of like Drew Barrymore in Scream. Kind of. I mean, she's famous and he's, you know, Ahmet Zappa. That doesn't look right. You guys remember who Ahmet Zappa is, right? Well, if you don't, there's still more people in the cast, like Fred fucking Williamson. Well, I'll be damned. And David Carradine, who, while fine in their extremely limited roles, end up exiting this film at the same time in a truly bizarre fashion. I mean, what, what the living hell just happened there? Don't it's like that. the thing from The Thing ate a blowtorch. Ah, oh, these movies suck. Why do I keep doing this? Why do they keep doing this? Thank <laughs> you.